What's up, y'all? It's Nifty Q. That's Gifted. We're here with another rehash. It is Wednesday, October 25th. This is going to be a jam pack up, so we appreciate bringing these to you. It's been an awesome day. We started with Machi, ended with Shrapnel. Let's get a GIF. Yeah, man, let's heck and get it. We got the top 10 stories in Web3 for you. That's what we do here. We're going to run it down, and we only got 10 minutes to do it. So Q, what is up first, my guy? All right, Decrypt breaking this story. Shrapnel Game Studio, the one that I just mentioned, raised 20 mil in a bear market. That's pretty good for them. So great job. We had Tony Valcarcel, the CMO on NFT Live today, to break down what is all going down in the Shrapnel ecosystem. Uh, the game is scheduled to open up for at least folks that have extra extraction packs in December. So we're really excited about this game. I mean, th from the professionalism to the amount that's on their team to the quality that we're seeing from the trailers, fantastic all around. Yeah, as far as FPS goes, as far as AAA games and Web3 go, this is going to be special, man. So yeah, very excited for what Shrapnel's doing and shout out to that team for coming and hanging out with us today. Uh, but let's keep it going on to that next one. We got a big drop. We've been talking about it. We've been looking forward to it. It's Snowfro, Red Bull Velocity collaboration. It's this really interesting generative fabric embroidery project. You can see an example of what these pieces look like here. Uh, they closed it out. It dropped and it has been pumping Q. It's been pumping up above 0.8. I can pull it up right here. You can see the floor. Lots of activity. Almost Ooh. 600 ETH on the secondary already. Yeah, I'm going to go the yin to your yang here and show off the Velocity Series Pass. Apparently, no one's excited for Jack Butcher because right after this mint this morning, uh, the Velocity Series just fell off a cliff. This is the risk with these mint passes, man. Uh, a lot of people are probably going to be getting back in, though, because I think Jack Butcher is also going to be dope. All right, not to go from one chart to another, but the Moonbirds pumped this morning. Uh, and this is a flooring effect, folks. So we had Spencer asking, Moonbirds are some of the strongest price action we've seen in a while. What's causing this? Well, FLC and the flooring protocol listed another round of multiple collections, and we saw moonbirds run and we saw a couple of these these other collections run like 20 30 percent i don't think this is going to continue but it, we do have this flooring effect a la kind of blend and blur when they would list projects and they would pump that's what we got right now yeah only for us another one of those man and i'm sure we'll see continue to see more projects added yeah maybe that effect starts to slow down a little bit but right now it's great to see uh maybe a more of a positive feedback loop from some of these DeFi protocols and on to the next one speaking of DeFi, nifty q have you been farming meme coin well the launch details are now out there and they shared it with some really interesting infographics you can see here total supply 69 billion they were sharing some details around the allocation including how much is going to the community. You can see here, 25% uh, of the total distributed uh, 69 billion there are going to go to the holders of Memeland assets and the community. There you go, the community airdrop details. So all of this in that thread in the description of this video or on X if you are interested. Yeah, they are going full gamification on X. So we see this interesting tie-in between people's kind of social activity and getting rewarded to do something. Meme land has been all over my timeline. So those of you that are farming, good luck. Uh, I'm going to stay on my gaming train here and talk pixel ball. You can see Josh Ong is getting into the game here, uh, and he's giving it a pretty solid review. We also had Orenji come in and play the game as well. You can see him going through their auto battler here uh battle plan so really excited for this one uh obviously the team is really strong we've been uh having community members uh from that team uh here in web3 network as well uh you can see here as well 30 minutes ago play testing signups now open to all holders of planets dots and punks comics yeah, it looks interesting, looks cool. And uh, we know that they've got their like GG token integrations and farming happening there. There's farming happening everywhere. The one thing that did stand out to me is for the people that are not, you know, the hardcore gamers, it does have that auto battling feature, which, you know, might make it easier if you, so you can more passively engage and farm and still participate, even if you aren't a hardcore gamer. So that's cool. Uh, shout out to them. On to the next one. This is not actually a game. It's called Arcade, but it is a protocol for NFT-Fi. 
and they are launching their own token. Again, just farming and tokens galore. This is the thread here. You can see some announcements. Governance token is called ARCD, A-R-C-D for arcade. This is a governance token, central to the vision of distributed community participating in decision-making process. This notably, you mentioned this Q, this is actually the protocol that has been, we, t- we were talking about recently because Rafiq Anadol had one of his uh, pieces uh, leveraged for a big loan over there. Yeah, you can see 60 ETH here. Uh, it, listen, uh, you know, aside from the the use of high-end art for loans, like we are seeing airdrop season, folks. So you, it, it might be a precursor to a bull. It might not. But what is be- happening right now is all the activity across a lot of major applications are in their airdrop or claim phase. So you better start getting active over there. Uh, all right. I've got a couple updates here on the friend tech front. Uh, it was obviously a bloody last 48 hours, but it's cooled off a little bit. Returning users up 37%, although a lot of those were to sell. Uh, daily buy volume is up 71%. Total volume up 200%. Uh, and, you know, highest keys not falling. Uh, actually, CBOFE, the, the cartel over there, uh, is plus 5% up. Uh, you know, anecdotally, again, I am on Frentech, so I saw this as well in real time. You know, the, all of the people that are really not you know, going to be around long term, got shaken out on this move. Yeah, probably a lot of those quote unquote bad actors or the people that weren't there for the long term are gone. We'll see what happens, but it's good to see some stabilization and some more positive sentiment around front tech. I'm sure it'll still be here for a while, but uh, thanks for covering that Q and on to the next one. Yo, it's, it's almost birthday time for Gary V and apparently he's throwing down at Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, what else What else do you got to say about this? They're going to have VFriends entertainment content prominently displayed in 500 Chuck E. Cheese fun centers, locations, whatever you want to call them, uh, across 47 states. Almost all 50 states are going to have a VFriends presence at Chuck E. Cheese throughout the entire month of November. I don't know, Q. Bullish? Uh, No comment here. I'll move on to the next piece. Uh, I do love me some Chuck E. Cheese, I guess. Uh, This story was broken by a little bit by by the block here. Maestro Telegram bot suffers a contract exploit, $500,000 of ETH stolen. So this is basically a Telegram bot that allows for more efficient trading. Uh, A lot of the higher end traders uh, that are more active on the day to day are using this bot uh, because it's more efficient, takes less gas, all of these things. But it puts them at risk for things like this. Uh, Maestro, also the the, uh, team behind this bot, uh, came out and said, we're going to refund everybody. We'll update the community as soon as we're ready to process the refunds. So yeah, a Telegram bot was exploited. If you're not a daily active trader uh, there on Telegram, then you don't really have to worry. Yeah, I mean, love to see that they're making the community whole. That's great. And uh, my initial take when Telegram announced these types of integrations was like, hey, it's really dope, but also it's going to be another, you know, vector of attack, another paradise for scammers over there, at least in the short term. So as always, be careful. And uh, yeah, again, glad to hear they're making people whole. Anyway, last story here. Q, there is a very controversial AIP up right now. I'm sure you've heard about it. AIP 337 of the ApeCoin DAO is being voted on as we speak, and it is around the controversial monthly payment structure for the DAO special counsel. Specifically, should they cut the roughly 20K a month currently being paid to about 10K? Opinions are flying. I'm not super engaged in this. What do you think, Q? Yeah, so we had a, a, the Board Ape Gazette as well as Machi Big Brother come into our spaces this morning and talk all about specifically AIP 337. They added a little bit on Ape Chain, uh, but a lot of it this is contentious, man. You're get you're getting a hundred k out the door for maybe a, a job that doesn't really have many KPIs every but you month. Can see- Machi's already voted. He's put his 5.1 million. I don't know how much left he has. There's a lot of delegation there, but 12 million ape, that's 55% of the vote is going against. I personally, right after this show, I'm voting for this because I believe we should cut back in times where we need to. And the ape coin price is absolutely obliterated at this point. So we need to scale back. I'll be voting for this. Although Yatsu came out in uh, in opposal of that, of cutting the special counsel. I mean, we love Yacht, but yeah, he's getting paid. So why why would he be for cutting his own payment? Come on. Well, he's uh, not but, getting paid anymore. He's not on the special counsel. Okay. All right. That's that's worth noting. So thanks for clarifying that. But anyway, ladies and degenerates, yeah. that's been a rehash. Go ahead, man. We flew through this, dude. I, I, look, 
DAYC merch actually is coming out. We got this right before we went live on the rehash. It's not going to be Black Hoodie season with the oh, Babe collabs. Uh, I'll, I'll, I just wanted to sneak that one in there at the end. Uh, this has been fantastic. Yeah, send us out gift. Y'all are awesome, by the way. Our vibe, our tribe. Yo, what a day. Shout out Machi. Shout out the, shout out the Board Ape Gazette. Shout out to Shrapnel and Tony Valcarcel and Saigo. All the people that just showed up and made today's content amazing. And to you. We will be back tomorrow with another daily rehash. Our Congrats vibe. on the Ronin, sir. Oh, you too, man. Twin Ronins? No? All right. Our vibe, our <laughs> tribe, y'all. <laughs>